Thank you to all of those that are still with me. I'm yattering on, I've got a lot to show you. This is probably the most interesting part of my collection for most of you. You like to know how I store my bath bombs, what I have, and how I keep them nice and fresh. So this is on top of my bookcase. These ones all contain probably my favourite bath bombs. Here are the nine boxes I've just taken down from my shelf. Most of these boxes that you see here and the other ones I'm going to show you in a minute have been chosen by me as my favourite designs for boxes. This is the Whoop Whoop which came out last year. That's supposed to be strung up, that's like a Christmas decoration. And I believe in here are my Abominables. Now for those interested in how to store your favourite products, I have found to store them in these sort of packaging is the best for me. I didn't like the original plastic they used to come in a couple of years ago. And if I have to, I wrap them in cling film, but I find that this original packet, as long as they're kept cool, they won't um, sweat, they won't leak, and they do maintain their scent a lot longer. Keeping them together in a box that you don't open unless you're going to use one, so a bit contradictory to what I'm doing now, but it's the best for them. They really do maintain their scent. I can smell them, they are so strong. If you obviously can't afford or haven't got any lush boxes such as this, I really highly recommend getting some plastic boxes or some cardboard boxes to store in because it, it honestly, it really does keep the scent in there longer. They all complement and support each other in maintaining the scent and they last a lot longer than they do if they're just kept in a big tray or a big box all together where the scents tend to merge. Now this one's not going to uh, be any sort of surprise to you guys. This one in here is still unused. That's my butter bears in there. There's six in there altogether. This was the Valentine's Day gift set. As you can see in there, I have nicely packed six shoot for the stars. Up next, I have this box set here, which is a really lovely gift set actually. This came with a letter from Santa, some stickers and so on. It's really magical and I ended up buying two in the end. This, oh, I can smell that. Look at that. That is my luxury lush puds. I, I know that Twilight is a year long round one and people say, why are you bothering storing these? You can just buy Twilight. I find them so much more pleasing in the bath. They're just better color, stronger smell, amazing. So they're my luxury lush pud. I really love this box set. And in here, look at this. This guys is the best new Christmas product from this year. This is Peeping Santa. And I don't think I've got enough. I'm sure 10 will be more than suffice to last me the year. So as you guys can see, this is the music box from the 2015 collection. In here, you can smell them from a mile away, I have my wonderful magic. I find that storing lush bath bombs in metal is not a good idea because they do tend to sweat, as you would expect. Up next is surprise. In here, we have my happy pills. This one had bells on originally, but I took them off because they are rather annoying. And in here, we have some Frozen. My all-time favourite box design. Look at that. That's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. In here, these are my Lord of Misrules. My babies. I feel like I should give them all names and wrap them in cribs and sing to them every night. This one from this year's collection, which is still full of all the products inside there. A couple of bits of makeup up there, which I've not yet reviewed. And of course, my favourite design box of all time. That is the WOW gift set. And at the moment, it still features every single thing in there from the WOW collection. I've not used anything yet. This this is the rest of my bath collection which I've organised into four trays. So I'm going to pull out those trays and put them somewhere a little bit lighter so you get a better idea of what's inside them. Okay I've pulled them all out and now you can see they're in the correct order here. My four trays of bath bombs and bubble bars. So in the top tray here I've organised them into four little gift sets. This is one of the gift sets from the Lush Oxford Street and in here I have three of the Phuket or Phuket, I think it's Phuket. This is the Merry Christmas gift set from last year that I got in the sale and in here I have my last four supernovas. They look a little bit like they're sweating because they were kept in a metal box for a little while but I've used one recently and they're still perfect. This is the Snow Fairy gift set of last year. I love the psychedelic colours to this. And here I have my last three Lush bath bombs that are Karma scented. Again these are sweating but they were also kept in a metal tray for a while. And at the front here this is my bath melt. This box is a regular box and in here I have all my bath melts. Ah, three of one of my all-time favourite bath melts, the Melting Snowman. Two, something wicked. We have probably my all-time favourite bath melt easily, which is the Starlight Star Bright. I have two of the Elixir. Two. And I have two more in my cupboard. Oh, these are the original dream time. I have one, two, and over here, somewhere, 
I have three of the floating islands. Two of the very recent Karma bath melts from the Lush Kitchen about three weeks ago. One original mango bath melt. One left of my 13 rabbits. Two of the new You've Been Mangoed bath oils. Two of those. I do have two of the Dreamtime bath melts. Okay, this is the second drawer here. Now, as you can see, I'm contradicting myself because I'm saying don't keep things in metal tins, but I don't heed my own advice. I have five of the Granny Takes a Dip. Then in this tray here, this is the tennis ball, which is Angel Delight soap scented. Then this was the fun tin that they brought out last year. For about a month, you couldn't buy these anywhere. I'll cut those down, I'll use them up, and just buy them if and when I fancy them. Also in here, I have two of the Space Girls and one Phoenix Rising. This is a really, really old tub. In there, I have four of the Karma Sutras. And to finish up that tray, I have four of the Error 404 R bombs. I hope I'm not giving you guys vertigo by swinging my camera around as much as I am. First up at the back here, in here you have a mixture of things. We have one, two, three of my Skullduggeries. That's all I've got left. Over here we have one more Karma Sutra that didn't fit in that little tube. I have two of my leapfrogs and down here we have one left of my bonbon. This tube, I believe, I'm not going to take them out because they're quite compacted in there. I have four yep, of the Lush Puds bath bombs. They're snow cake scented. And I have one Lord of Misrule from, again, the um, Christmas and July range. I have one final Aluru bath bomb. I have a random shoot for the stars that I bought recently to go in cocktails. I have one and two over there at the back. Sky Dancers. I have one So White and a Hoppity Poppity. And again, I've got another Hoppity Poppity over here. There is six sparklers there. I have one left of my Northern Lights from last year. I have one, two, and exclusively on camera, I'm going to add in my third still life that came this morning. So there's three still lives. One of the rose bombshell. Which is Christmas reusable bubble bath. This tray looks a mess and it is a mess really. If I'm going to be honest with you, it would be easier and more conducive to keep scent families apart, but I don't have the space. So this you might recognize, another really old school tub. Three superstar bubble bars. And I've got five of one of my all-time favourite bubble bars, I am 10 American Cream Scented. Then I have one, two down there, three, four of the three gold rings, which is creme anglaise scented. I've stocked up on two, three, four of the bar humbug. Underneath here I have one, two, and one underneath there, three of the bubbling under. Under here I have one, two, three of it's a date bubble bar. One, two, three of the sparkly pumpkin. I have two of the a gold star bubble bars, one Dorothy, and I have another Dorothy down here to start using in cocktails. In this fizz tank, I'm not going to take it out, but I have seven Bathos, Bathos, how you pronounce it. Underneath here, I've got three of the Green Day bubble bars. I've got two Amando Pondos, two of the Holly Go Lightly bubble bars from last year. I've got one here and one behind me of the new ones. Two Marbar bubble bars here. Underneath there, the brightly coloured one is a Pleasure Dough. Here I have one, and I've just pulled out a second, set of the five gold rings bubble bars. Here I have two heartthrob bubble bars, my very, very last unicorn horn. I have one of these. This is the Christmas hedgehog one, happy bubble bar. I have two of the Christmas kisses, four temple of truth bubble bars, one grass bubble bar, one left of these. These are really cute. This is the bunny bubble bar. At the bottom there, I've got one, two, three, four. And again, I've got one down here, five. This is a magic mushroom. I have one whole ultraviolet. I've got one left of the Mother Superior and that is my entire bath collection. I do apologise that I've whizzed through that super quickly but I just thought I'd give you an indication of what I have and how I store it. As I said it's not the correct way of storing, it's the way that I like. I've never had an issue with products going off, products melting, scents being lost or merging with other scents. It's worked for me nice and clean, nice and clear, nice and tidy and that my friends is my entire 2015 Lush collection. Thank you for watching, please subscribe if you've not done so already and I hope you've enjoyed.